Good afternoon. I'm back here at Goshen Gardens, and as you can see, Duncan is in the in the picture. Hi, Duncan. How are you? Hi, Joe. Thank you for uh, agreeing to talk about some of your specimens here. So you have the floor. Okay. Well, this is uh, dwarf hackberry, and I dug it out of the ground. I have like a six foot ball. And I'm training it in here for it to become a bonsai tree. Uh, Tell me about how the things are gonna, the branches are gonna happen. Well, this should become, there should be a lot of branches that'll start breaking because they did cut it so extreme to move it. This was all covered with um, vines. You couldn't even see the trunk. But I dug it out and then I uh, root pruned it to get it into this training pot to start to uh, dwarf the roots and get them to regrow. And then that, this will be a big bonsai. I'm going to try to keep it big like this and get it in a big pot and make it, uh, you know, it just has nice movement and age already. i got to put a little more stuff in here, but that's the, the roots, the way they go in in the bari. Are you telling me about this other tree over here that you've turned into a bonsai? And you had some very wonderful things to say well, about this one. This one I had just growing in the pot and... Uh, I did, we're taking it out, we're, we, again, root pruning and maybe root And, and that kind of tree is? And this is a river birch, but I like the way the form of the tree and it had all these branches, they're all relatively the same size, so I'm going to try, so if you look now, this tree is only about seven feet tall, but it does look like a full grown kind of river birch, but it needs to get more pruning. And it looks like it, but a river birch could be 35 feet tall, or a full grown. Or 80, but so I just cut this back to get more buds to break, yeah. and we'll just have to yeah, start. That'd be very wonderful, uh, you know, specimen in a in a big pot tree, and uh, it'd be nice. Even I was thinking maybe around Christmas time you could put lights on it because it's got that pyramid. Right, but you would be able to keep this out year round in a pot. Yeah, it's hardy. It'd be great. Great, Dunk. Yeah, and then... You got any more you want to show me? Uh, well, there's another birch that's the opposite of that one. Yeah. Oh, this one's great, yeah. Well, I did cut it. But I, I'm leaving these branches because they'll make the trunk bigger. Over in a couple of years, we'll cut them off. All this will help make better... Uh, whatever you call it. Taper, better taper, where it's wider at the bottom and has nice taper up at the top. Yeah. And all these will be cut off and then we'll start to train the crown. But this has a really thick trunk. This tree's a four-year-old seedling. How, how old? Four-year-old seedling. Wow, look at that, folks. Four years it's old. It's the same as that other tree, but that was a much thinner trunk. So for bonsai purposes, I chose this to put it in this pot and regrow the roots and start making it smaller. Nice. And that's it. Nice. Well, Duncan, I want to thank you so much for okay, sharing Joe. your expertise, and I look forward to doing well, this, this is a lot. This new for me, but I'm... Right, but I mean, you look around here, I mean, you, every one of these plants, you know it's it's plant history, right. you know it's genetics. Oh, you got a bird in here, but that's not unusual. Uh, so, you know, over the year, I know you get very busy once the, the selling season starts, but uh, I do, and we will, I'll be in and... We'll be talking about a lot of these plants and things going on here at Goshen Gardens. By the way, I hear you got married recently. Is that true? <laughs> yes, it's true. Did you go anyplace special while you were there? Uh, to Sedona, Arizona. Sedona? Yes. How did you like that? Good. It's a nice yeah? place. Any vortexes over there? <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah. All... yeah. Beautiful place, though, right? Yeah. 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 And nice. All the vortexes are nice. <laughs> How'd your wife like it? Oh, she loved it. Yeah, good. Great. Well, once again, Don, thanks. Okay, Bye-bye. Bye.